Hi everybody, so um, this is my first official YouTube video and I really don't know how to start a YouTube channel so I am going to share with you the top 5 reasons why I haven't made a YouTube channel yet and the top 5 reasons why I've decided to. Um, I decided to formulate this type of video because I want my viewers to kind of get a taste of who I am so you know what to expect when subscribe to my channel. So I have everything right on my lap right now in a notebook so if you notice that I'm looking down that will be why. <laughs> the number one reason why I haven't made a YouTube channel yet is because of lack of confidence. I've always thought that I was ugly for some reason. I have crooked teeth. I've never been able to afford braces. Between my home life and my personal life now, I just can never come up with enough money to get my own braces. I'm saving money currently, but I still am not making good enough income to get braces. So lack of confidence is definitely the number one reason why I haven't decided to do this. Um, another thing that I'm very, very insecure about is my face. I struggle with severe, severe acne. It's always up and down. Also, if you hear, like, screaming or singing, it's my sisters playing Just Dance. They've been on, like, a five-day streak of playing nothing but Just Dance for two hours in the morning. I mean, it's a good workout, so I don't mind if they do it, but just letting you know. I've always been afraid of what people would think of me. I've always been like afraid of the haters and hate. As I said before, I've always struggled with self-confidence and self-esteem and I was afraid of being judged wrong by people on the internet. I've been bullied in high school. I've been told that I was ugly straight to my face. It's not a good feeling. So to have somebody like on the other side of the computer or cell phone tell me that I'm ugly and worthless. I don't know if I'd be able to handle it. Um, I guess I just have to mentally prepare myself and I have for the worst, so. I felt like an outcast. I, in high school, I was always sort of the quiet girl because I never felt pretty enough to talk to anybody. I was always just kind of by myself and I had a small group of friends, but I just, I never felt like I would fit in anywhere. So on YouTube I know it's so overly populated by beautiful gorgeous girls and I just felt like I wasn't one of them. You know, I I have money but I'm not like rich. You know, I'm not like over the top. I don't have money to splurge on really really nice face products and makeup products, braces, you know, things that you really need. I don't know, I just felt like I wouldn't fit in so kind of just discouraged me a little bit. And I feel like everybody kind of has this fear is that I felt like nobody would watch my videos. I felt like it would just be a waste of time. I don't know, I just felt like I'd be blabbing to myself in the camera like I am right now, so yeah. Because my life is so busy and crazy between work, school, blah blah blah, I felt like I couldn't stick to a schedule, honestly. I love filming. I love it. I love sitting in front of the camera and just talking to myself. Um, for the longest, longest time, probably for the past two years, I know this probably sounds like I should be in an insane asylum, but I used to sit in front of a mirror and just mimic as if I were recording myself in the camera. Like makeup tutorials and beauty tutorials, things like that. I would just sit in front of the camera and talk and mimic as if I were filming. And it it came to a point where I had to kind of look at myself in the mirror and say, why are you talking to yourself? Go ahead and make a YouTube channel and that's why I'm here. I love beauty. I sit on my laptop at least 20 to 30 minutes a day watching makeup tutorials, watching favorites videos, watching hauls. Way, way back when I was like 13 years old, I watched my first hair tutorial and I was hooked from then on and I started, you know, just doing my own hair, cutting my own hair, styling my own hair. I loved playing with my hair. 
So I I decided that I was gonna try my music channel and I just I would watch my videos and I would think wow like I'm so ugly like nobody's gonna watch me because I'm so ugly and I just I have to put that that thought aside like you know like people are gonna look at you based on the way you look they're gonna look at you and see that you are a true human being and I'm hoping that the people that subscribe to this channel will really see the real me because I am like a really loving person and I do have a God-given passion for beauty and so yeah. And I think a lot of girls on YouTube do this too is ins really? inspire where I love touching people's hearts and warming people's hearts and, and ultimately just making people smile and feel good about themselves. I just, I want to inspire so many people and making a YouTube channel is one way to do that. Um, even if I get like 100, 200, 1000 subscribers, I'd be content with that because I just, knowing that I'm making people feel better about themselves is, it would mean the world to me, so. I really don't have like any friends. <laughs> About like three years ago I fell into a deep depression and it kind of always stuck with me, you know? And because of that, I've lost like all my friends from high school, all my friends from out of high school, you know, like, it's pretty much me and my boyfriend. At this point, I really don't have anybody, so I just, I decided, you know, YouTube is a really great way to really connect with people all over the world, you know. But yeah, I just, I really want to connect with people and be able to express who I really am and get to talk with people and meet people. That'd be like so cool. So the fifth reason why I'm here is because I finally have the confidence to do this. I finally just said, you know what? Screw the bullshit. Screw the haters. Screw everything. This is what I want to do. So yeah, I hope that you learn a little bit about me. Um, if you want to chat with me or anything like that, make sure to follow my Twitter. It's at GabrielleBeth87. Make sure you follow my Instagram, at GabrielleBeth. Also, um, I don't know if you were able to hear it throughout this entire video. My dog is actually sleeping right next to me, and he snores so loud, and I apologize if you were able to hear that. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go, and I hope you like this video. Make sure you like it. And make sure you subscribe because this will definitely not be the last video I will be making. But yeah, I love whoever's watching this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Okay, so judging my my Okay, so judging by my appearance, you can tell that I'm a pretty good looking girl, right? Okay, so the third reason why I'm here, my arms are so sore. <laughs> I went to the gym with my boyfriend yesterday and he gave me like an ass kicking workout and oh my god, I like, I can't even. I finally just, you know what? I finally just, oh my god, I need to breathe. So I got ready this morning, I did my hair, I did my makeup, I set up the camera, and I said, I'm gonna film today, and that is exactly what I'm doing, and I'm gonna keep doing it because it's what I wanna do. Social media websites, there's the word. <laughs> so I know the way he's laying down is kind of inappropriate. This is my dog, Regan. He's a very loud sleeper. Regan, wake up, say hi, say hello. He's just been kind of chilling in my room and sleeping all day, which is very surprising because usually he's bouncing off the walls. <sighs> and this is me smiling for like no reason. Just because I'm happy. Sing along if you feel like you want to subscribe to my channel.